a little sticky in here. I don't think the last time I showered. <laughs> When's the last time you showered? We're cooking, snacking, eating, and laughing. The Southern Snackers. <laughs> That's dumb. Hey y'all, it's the Southern Snackers. I'm Brandon. And I'm Bucky. How are y'all doing? Today we are bringing y'all another car mukbang, but today we are eating local ice cream. Mm. Oh. Yours just looks like a little blob. Look at how it I have blueberry cheesecake ice cream, and you have, what do you have? This place y'all is called Two Scoops Creamery. Creamery. <laughs> Two Scoops Creamery. But they have a flavor called Bart, which is Butterfinger and Vanilla Ice Cream. Mm. And y'all, anytime I get any kind of... If I get a candy mix in, it's always Butterfinger. Yeah. Oh, mm. this is so good. But Two Scoops, we love Two Scoops. There's actually two lo locations in Charlotte now. Um, there's one in Plaza Midwood, which is a little area of Charlotte. And then in South End in Charlotte. And the cool thing that they're doing during this crazy time is they are doing deliveries curbside. and curbside, which is kind of like rare for like an ice cream place. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's really, really cool. Um, it was super easy. We just pulled up. No, um, it's hot here. Yeah. Uh, we pulled up. They came out, you know, had their gloves on, all the, you know. So it was really cool, though. Just still trying to support local where we can, y'all. Mm. Wow. Here's my Bart. Butterfinger and vanilla. <laughs> Butterfinger. Well, I want to do a close up of mine too. Oh, and you can see the cheesecake right there. Yum. And it, all their stuff, it's like homemade. Right. Yeah, it's like made there. Yeah. Yeah. They even have like vegan options. What are you being weird about? I'm not being weird. <laughs> what? What are you doing? I'm not being weird. Why do you think I'm in here? You know what you're doing because you're laughing. Cause, so you know that there's something that <laughs> you're laughing little, at. It's a little sticky in here. Like maybe we have... <laughs> I'm nothing the last time I showered. <laughs> When's the last time you showered? <laughs> I showered today. Did you put on the other? Mm -hmm. It's probably you. Look at you in your tank top. <laughs> but whenever we reached up there to put our thing, it was, it like, was you. Yeah, I'm good. I... Well, mm. Mm. this is going to be my go-to now. Really? Yeah. Because normally I wouldn't go for like this. I would go for like a coffee or mm -hmm. something else kind of like that. Mm. But you don't ever spot. like anything like fruit, like fruit based. Mm -mm. Mm. Unless it's like shit, like sherbet or like ice cream i just feel like a lot of times is weird i if hate it's fruit sherbet y'all what froyo froyo i would rather have it be like a fruit yeah that's true i don't know why but i haven't speaking of that is that still a thing sweet frog i got a text from sweet frog that literally said that they We're have delivery Hmm. Now, I don't know how that in the... I don't know how that what worked. that would... I mean, what about all your toppings? I know. I mean, usually you go through there adding like tons of toppings and stuff. Well, it's by weight. So, like, how do you know what they're going to put on it? <laughs> and how much? But... Because you know they'll be checking those toppings up. And... Y'all, businesses got to do whatever they, they can do, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, they just got to... Even if it's like a flat fee for like... adapt. A, yeah. Which I didn't even know that there was like looser laws with alcohol delivery. Which that's kind of cool. The curbside alcohol. Does the ABC store delivering? Mm mm. That'd be nice. But I have heard that the ABC store is only letting like one person in at a time or something, or like two people at a time. Mm. I think more stores should do that. Oh, too. Like the grocery stores, like. Or at least like. Make a rule where there are signs up that say, please no more than two people on one aisle or something. Because, I mean, I know we keep talking about this, but that's just kind of the, the world we're in right now. 
But if you think about it, you know, everybody's trying to like go like all crazy, like don't go out, don't go out. Well, going to the grocery store, like you can be as cautious and put on uh, as much stuff as you want, but like- You're at the mercy of everybody else. If they're getting all close to you, what are you gonna do? I mean, that's just as bad as like, you know, anything else at that point. If you're not taking of like limiting the number of people going in at a time. But, mm. These pints are big too. Mm hmm I didn't know. This is good. I know we said we were gonna get a pint, but this is like. I wanna go back and get more. This was, it was what, $14? Mm hmm We left a 20% tip. I don't know what the total was because we didn't sign or touch anything. That is kind of funny. Like he was like, do you want to do any of these options? And it's like the tip. <laughs> it was like 20%. Because they, you know, obviously they don't want you touching the iPad. Mm. I was just craving ice cream today for some reason. And I'm, I don't crave ice cream a lot. I mean, how many ice cream mukbangs have we done on this channel? Like maybe, I don't even, maybe one. Have we ever done like a straight up? I don't even know. But it's funny because y'all, when we were at Two Scoops, they did not give us spoons. Because I guess since we got it in pints, that's how like, they delivered it. They thought we were in. taking it home. They thought they were, we were taking it home. And we could have, I mean, but we just wanted to go ahead and like eat it, you know, before it melts, even though we're still really close to home. But uh, since we, they didn't give us straws, we had to go to McDonald's. <laughs> and we just got uh, a caramel sundae. I mean, it's just going to melt. Maybe we can like freeze it when we get home. Um, well. But we were like, can we have one caramel sundae and two spoons? <laughs> Brandon was like, at a time like this, you're going to ask for two spoons for one sundae? You didn't ask for nothing. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, what? I said you didn't ask for nothing. Uh, I did all the talking. That's what I said. I said Brandon said at a time like this. I think that's what I said. What was that? Oh, oh. Oh, that flag. Oh. So we're in the uh, McDonald's parking lot. It's like getting, um, it's like 7.37. It's just... This is like the, the fa my favorite time of day. Cause it was hot today, mm -hmm. but now it feels good. And the wind is blowing so hard, which is bad for my allergies. Like my allergies are like, I mean, literally looking at the front of the car right now, it's yellow. Um, so the wind blow, <laughs> Oh, I got, <coughs> got choked up. Butterfinger got went down the wrong hole. Um, what? That's the thing. The wrong hole? <laughs> I think that. Uh, but the wind is blowing so hard, so it like feels so good. Like this like perfect like porch and like back porch sitting. Yeah. So we decided to do this in the car. <laughs> That's true. But with the wind blowing. You can't record outside. Yeah, we've tried. Unless you got fancy mics and stuff. And y'all, that's not us. As y'all know, we are the furthest thing from fancy. Mm. I feel like I've been eating this for like, how much help? Oh, wow. This is a lot more gone than mine. You've been talking a lot. <coughs> but I, I talk and eat. You can't talk and eat. That's the thing about you. You can't talk yeah. and eat. Well, I don't like talking and eating because you know how I'm about noises. No, please tell us. I mean, you and your noises is just as bad as me and my onions. I don't talk about it as much as you talk about onions. You used to. I want to get another pint of this. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, but I want to save it. Because I'm going to do good tomorrow. Tomorrow, now that I'm like fully better. Because y'all, last week, I did a couple videos. But I just, I mean, I woke up feeling awful every day. Like my allergies were just through the roof. But this week, I am like finally feeling good. I'm going to start going to run and I guess I'll go run through like our nature preserve 
which is really nice that we have a nature preserve at our house. Yeah. So like it's not at our house, but it's like in the neighbor one of the neighborhoods nearby. But it's easy to like access. Um, but so that's nice. And I used to love like going there, riding my bike, and running through there. The only thing you gotta worry about now is snakes. Now that it's the warmer and bees. I don't worry about bees as much when I'm running because I can outrun them like I'm running at a constant run. But like with all the leaves and stuff on the ground and then the snakes and they'll just come out and attack you and they're like, and they're just scary, ultimately. That's the worst creature I think in the world. What do you think the worst creature invented is? What's your favorite and least favorite creature? Well, you know my favorite. I think I'm my least. I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like <coughs> the thing with snakes is that typically you're only going to encounter like one at a time. But like bees. And like mosquitoes and stuff like that, like they they swarm and they nest. I mean, I know snakes nest too, but you're more likely to happen upon a yellow jacket's nest than you are like a snake nest. God, if I came upon a snake nest. So it's like, you know. So what's your answer? Probably, I mean, honestly, probably like hornet, like really bad bees, like hornets and yellow jackets and stuff. Yeah. Um, Even though I'm not like terrified of them, like, I'm way more tolerant of them than, like, Bucky is. Like, if one flew in this car right now, Bucky would, like, scream and yell and run. And I would be, like, calm and sit here and just try to watch it and make sure it doesn't get on me, that kind but of thing. But, also, if something was in the car, if a spider was in the car, I would be calm and you would be acting crazy. Depending on what kind of spider. That little, little white spider no, freaked you out. that was because out. I told you that I had seen multiple spiders in the car. But it did freak you out, and that's you were like. So you're going with snake. That's your okay. answer. Snake, my least favorite ever. I don't understand it. They don't have legs. They're freaky. They, they are like, freaky. Like, and they just bite you. Their existence is freaky. It's just a weird. I'm done, by the way. And they don't have legs, so it's just like, ooh. Yeah. The way like, they at move. least like worms and stuff like make sense. I don't know. Just snakes How? don't make sense. Worms move just like snakes. Yeah, but worms make sense, and like, cause they like. Or in the dirt, like eat dirt or something. I think they're good for something. What? Like, what are snakes good for? They eat mice. Okay, but in the like, in the world, like worms, I think are good for like gardening and getting like. <clears throat> they're part of helping. the ecosystem. They're part of the food chain. I think we can do without them. I mean, I think we could too. Um, my favorite creature is a panda bear. Mine is an otter. So least favorite snakes, favorite panda bears, because they will. I mean. They're also can be mean though. Well, yeah. I mean, but I didn't say I want to go like cuddle them. But That's I want to like you would. <laughs> if I had the opportunity. I'm really mad though. This will be like the last thing since you're done. I'm about done. I'm mad because for Brandon's birthday this year. I mean, we're gonna be under quarantine for Brandon's birthday coming up in April. You're eating that now? Not well. Um. But what we, I wanted to do for his birthday is there is a place, I think it's in, is it in Mississippi? Louisiana. Louisiana. That you can swim with otters. Like you all get in like a pool and there's like baby otters and the otters like you just play with them. Um, Called an otter encounter. Yeah. So we were going to do that, but obviously that's not going to happen now, but maybe once everything's back up and running. Okay. There's a lot of cheesecake that in this. Off or? I think I'm done. Mm. Woo! <sighs> I'm full. <sighs> Me too. Yummo though. I mean, if y'all are in Charlotte, heads up, two scoops. You can go there, they come out, you know, get something to go, take it home to your family, so or to your car. So it's really convenient and you're supporting local. Yeah. But anyways, y'all, we're going to get off here. Thank y'all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. 
Make sure you are subscribed to the Southern Snackers. We love y'all. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, on TikTok now. Taking over TikTok, y'all. We are taking over TikTok. Well, Brandon is. Yes. I'm viral. <laughs> on TikTok. <laughs> I don't know if, if we'll I say... I have one video that's doing well. But I don't know if we can say it's viral yet. Well, it's over 8,000 views. <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> but anyways, y'all... <coughs> But anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. We love y'all, and just remember, when life gets tough, just keep on snacking. Bye, y'all.